Miami's Ocean Drive with its iconic Art Deco buildings never really sees an off-season. For weeks now it's been deserted, along with the normally packed beaches and pedestrianised shopping areas of a city in lockdown. The cautious reopening of parks, golf courses and marinas is now underway though, as state officials point to coronavirus cases showing a slight downturn. Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis, a close ally of President Trump, says a careful reopening isn't complicated. Although on Tuesday the state recorded its highest total of new deaths on a single day. On Wednesday, DeSantis announced what he called a safe, smart, step-by-step -step plan to reopen. This new phase will start on Monday, May 4th, and will, for the time being, exclude Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties. These counties have seen the lion's share of the state's epidemic, but they are trending in a positive direction. Even as beaches and parks reopen in some parts of the state, places like Miami-Dade County continue to take precautions. Despite the governor's optimism, reopening isn't a one-size-fits-all policy. Over a thousand people have died of COVID-19 in Florida, a third of them here in Miami-Dade. Like many other states, what this one's facing then is a patchwork of reopenings and a continuation of restrictions. Here in Miami Beach, the boardwalk's open, but the beach and playgrounds remain off limits. It's a similar picture in other hard-hit cities, as local authorities weigh the risks against getting the economy going again. Social distancing rules remain in place. When restaurants are allowed to reopen, they will operate at reduced capacity. Miami's mayor says if people don't follow guidelines, harsher restrictions will come back. If we start to see a regression, if people are not respecting the rules, um, then obviously we will not hesitate um, to start re-restricting. And that's one of the things that we want to avoid. Any version of a new normal will also be a challenge logistically. Miami is a hub for the distribution of goods throughout the Americas, and restarting trade will be difficult. It's very complicated. It's, um, it's obviously critical, um, but it's, it's essential for us to understand what those steps entail and how people interact with others. While some can now carefully enjoy this state's parks, restaurants and beaches, others remain under tight restrictions. The reopening of some parts of the economy and continued closure of others is mostly in the hands of local leaders, and their decisions are more crucial than ever. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.